Waldo Emerson said, every artist was first an amateur. The Impressionist painter Monet painted a subject of haystack starting in 1890 for a year and a half, resulting in over 30 canvases of hay. And Pablo Picasso, should he have remained in the family business, would have made his mark on the world as a glove maker. What makes someone a painter? How can we master watercolor? Why should I even try when there are so many other artists out there that are better than me? You should first know that you are a beautiful soul created and loved by the most amazing artist. You have been given your own unique perspective and your own talents to share with the world. Yes, there are millions of creatives out there, but each one of us has something beautiful to contribute. Wouldn't the world be bland if we took one look at Van Gogh's sunflowers and decided that was the only style that sunflowers should ever be depicted? Just start. Find a subject you love and paint. Or sketch, take a photograph. Let your soul loose in nature and observe. Starting can be scary, but being scared is scarier. Seek out teachers and classes of mediums that you would love to know more about. Do what I'm doing here. I'm so grateful for the seasoned and professional artists that lend their talents and experience for us to learn from. I started following this wonderful artist, Jennifer Branch, when I ventured into watercolors about three years ago. Do I compare my painting to hers? Yes, of course. Did I try to use similar materials to what she did? Yes. Does it look anything like hers? No, not really, <laughs> but that's okay. Did I learn something? Yes. Did I have fun? Absolutely. These are the types of questions I really should be asking myself. I had once lamented to a dear family friend about my roses not looking like my idols, Jean Haynes. Well, this friend said to me, how many hours has Mrs. Haynes been painting? See, I think this friend said hours because if she had said years, the comparison wouldn't have hit me so hard. Jean Haynes has been an award-winning artist, author, and teacher for most of her adult life. I don't think I could calculate how many hours difference that would be between my year and a half and her illustrious career. One of the things Mrs. Haynes shared with us in a workshop that I was blessed to attend was that she had studied for years in China under a watercolor master. Once upon a time, Jean Haynes had been a student too.